welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a fabulous 2017. This is kind of a first impressions. I'm going to be talking about some of the new products that I've gotten over the past couple of weeks. I am wearing my Foxy Locks extensions. I'm going to be talking about this new ColourPop High Maintenance Palette and some more ColourPop awesome things. So just keep watching and I hope you all enjoy this makeup look. I'm going to start out with my face today. That is something I never really do. I'm going to try out this Real Techniques Diamond Bold Metal Sponge that my best friend got me for Christmas. I am so glad she got me this because I have been wanting this. Our Ulta in town was sold out of it, so I'm really excited to try it. And I'm also going to be using this Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. I've actually been using this and I really like it. We'll see if this is what's breaking my face out so bad. So yeah, let's just get started. Oh, I'm going to use one of my Holy Grail primers. It's very expensive. I got it for free um, because I had enough Ulta points to get it for free. This is my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I don't want to live. That song's stuck in my head. I've never seen the Fifty Shades of Grey and I don't plan on watching the Fifty Shades of Grey. But, um... That sounds really catchy. This is what the foundation looks like. It's just like the um, Dream Matte Mousse, I think is what it was or something. You know, I like the coverage of this whenever my face is not too broke out. I may have to put a couple layers, I may have to put a couple layers of it on to conceal this horrible breakout that I'm having right now. Okay, I really don't think this foundation is bad. I just don't really like myself looking oily. I'm not really I'm not really a girl that likes the dewy because I have such bad textured skin anyways. It's not really covering my imperfections well. Which I mean, eh, everybody has imperfections. So I'm gonna use my tried and true NYX HD concealer and I'm gonna use the color one and two because I just like mixing the two together. It gives me like my perfect shade. I'm getting my hair all in this foundation and all in this concealer. And I'm going to use this diamond sponge again to blend this concealer out. I'm going to take this up onto my eyelids to kind of prime for my eyeshadow. I'm not very happy with how my skin's looking today. So this is how it blended out. I mean, I just used this to kind of blend it out a little more. I like the Bold Metals Miracle Diamond Sponge is what it's called. Um, but I still like my little Real Techniques um, orange sponge to like blend my concealer out with. It was really good for my foundation. But for concealer, I still like this one better. I'm going to go ahead and set this with my Tried and True Air Spun Powder. Now I really like this one because I haven't really tried a new powder yet. I'm just going to take the tip of my sponge set my powder for brows I'm just gonna use my NYX micro brow pencil in taupe I've had this for a while I like the elf pencils better like this three dollar elf pencils and my eyebrows need to kind of be done again but I can't find my tweezers I'm not the best eyebrow person set that with this Chella eyebrow defining gel that I got in my BoxyCharm one time. I can't remember how much it was or how long ago it was. But it's just a clear brow gel. That way these babies don't move. So I got a huge ColourPop order the other day and I think I'm going to use some of the stuff from this. I think the two things I'm going to use today are going to be the Kathleen Lights palette and the high maintenance palette from ColourPop. These are my two newest eyeshadow palettes and I've been using this one a lot. I really, really like this one from Morphe. So in this really cute ColourPop palette, it comes with Just In Time, High Strung, Get Out, and Cute Alert. And it comes in this really cute packaging. Um, I mean, you can't really fit a lot of eyeshadows in here. That's the only bummer. But look how pretty this is. I mean, it's kind of bulky and I've seen Nicole Cutler. I saw her take out this part. So I might end up doing that after I get done with this. And then I have this Kathleen Light Lab and it has a picture of her on the back. I love Kathleen Lights. She's my favorite beauty YouTuber. Um, her and Casey Holmes are my two favorites. This is what it looks like. It is dirty. I have been using it. But this is what the palette looks like. I really, really, really love this palette, especially these purples. 
Like purples are like my favorite thing ever to wear. I'm just gonna start off with this color and put it in my crease. I'm gonna take me a sip of coffee real quick. I love this palette. Wow. I'm gonna take another brush. This is the Morphe 441 brush for or wonderful whatever you want to say I'm gonna take my high maintenance palette now I'm going to take this shade I feel like all I do is purple eyeshadow looks whoa that is pigmented it does have a little bit of fallout but wow This is so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and do the um, Jaclyn Hill little trick and put a bunch of powder under my eyes just in case this does have some fallout. This next shade in the palette, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put that on my outer V. More define the outer V a little more. Whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take a little, a thinner brush, just like a littler brush. blend this lot so I'm just gonna take that shade in the first Kathleen Lotz palette that orangey shade and just blend a lot so I'm gonna take this Royal and Lang Lang Nickel Lang Nickel brush I don't know how to say it I got it in my boxy charm I'm gonna take this really pretty pink right here and put that all over my lid pretty. I had to order another ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collab in um, the color Weenie. One of those eyeshadows because I dropped mine a while ago and busted it. It was a sad, sad day. It's one of my favorite like ro rose gold colors ever. Let me show you all a swatch of it. I missed you so much. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking pretty. So I'm going to put that on my lid too just to kind of make it a little more sparkly next we are going to move on to eyeliner I'm gonna use the color pop pot gel eyeliner in mr. Bink it's a brown I'm not gonna use a typical black like I usually would and I suck at eyeliner so do not judge Okay, so these are not the best wings you've ever seen in your life, but you can look over that for me, right? I'm going to curl my lashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. My you uh, I keep every time I hit the ground, this camera moves. Maybe I need to just sit with my feet off the ground so I don't do that. And then I'm gonna take my favorite mascara ever. It's kind of expensive, it's like $24, but it's the Stila Huge Lash Extreme Mascara. I really like the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara too, but mine's really old and just about dried out because I've had it forever. For falsies, I'm going to use these faux mink luxuriously lightweight with Invisiband Ardell lashes in 812. They're faux mink. I've never had faux mink lashes, so I'm really excited, or even mink. So I'm really excited to try these and see what they look like. And I'm going to use this little Makeup Academy tool that I got to help put the, these on. I love this thing. Oh my gosh! So while that glue is still drying, I'm going to finish up my face. So for contour today, I'm going to use my Jordana Contour Stick and Medium. I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on my brush. Foundation. So I'm going to use my usual Glam Bronze Bronzer. It was limited edition, so unfortunately, you know, once I use this up, it's gone. Hopefully they'll make it permanent. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes because it's bugging me. 
I'm going to take my high maintenance palette and my Kathleen Lights palette and just start with the shade that I used my, for my transition. I'm going to start back with this color. And start blending this into my outer or under eye. Bye. I'm going to take my Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. I used up my first one of this. This is my favorite brown liner of all time. I'm just going to smudge that. I'm going to put some mascara on my under eyes. I'm hating how this foundation turns out. Look at this. You see this? Do you see how it's like caked up right here? I'm going to use this gold color that came in the high maintenance palette to highlight. I'm going to use this blush that I got in my Ipsy bag. I think it was my Ipsy in Zen Orange. We'll see if I like it. So for highlight, I'm going to use this Vintage Illuminating Face Highlighter Set in Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond that I got in my BoxyCharm. It's absolutely freaking beautiful. I really like, I already got one vintage highlight from them before and I really, really like it. So I want to see what this one looks like. So I'm going to take this Luxie brush that I got in my BoxyCharm also one time. Holy crap. For lips, I'm going to use this Freak and Frack Ultra Satin Lip and Lippy Pencil. Um, Kathleen Lott says she really likes this color, so of course anything she says she likes, I buy. So let's try these out. I haven't even swatched these yet. So this is what Freak and Frack looks like. I like it. It makes my teeth look white. So my overall opinion on all this stuff is I really like it. These lashes though, they are freaking amazing and they were like $5. The foundation, um, it's really not my favorite. The ColourPop High Maintenance Palette in this freaking frack. I love this Ultra Satin Lip. And this eyeshadow palette was awesome. It is bomb. These shadows are really, really beautiful. I'm probably going to try more of the, um, single shadows by ColourPop. They're only like $5. The diamond sponge is great for your foundation. I don't know if it was just the foundation. I'm going to try it again with a different foundation, but um, it's not very good for concealer. I really didn't like it for that. But overall, I really liked all the products that I used in this video. I love ColourPop. They're like my favorite brand. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you Tell me what you all would like to see next in my next video. I hope you don't mind my casual workout attire. Thank you.